But Hart wrote a letter and didn't even veil it. He just said, we stage stuff. You better do what we say. We're going to stage something. And then when he was confronted, I tell the story a lot because it's so important by We Are Change. It's in my film, Truth Rising. Just like the BBC reporters, hey, you said Building 7 fell in England. And the, and, and the reporter said, I was not there. I didn't cover 9-11. People that were there on the street are going, I didn't cover that. The reporters. And then it cuts to a clip of them covering it. I was taking my son to the theater. You could see the lying in the face. The guy was like, I mean, you're looking at an operative. You're looking at hardcore. You know what you're looking at. You're not just looking at an operative. You're looking at somebody who's bought into this, this, this act. God, man, you couldn't, you couldn't get me to, to sell out for anything. I mean, it's my soul. And see, you fools don't think you've got a soul. Well, okay, what about your children's future? When you start selling everybody out, there's nothing left. I hear like low-level minions trying to buy into the talking points, hoping one day they actually get a talking point. All right, I said I'd go to your calls and I'm out of control, but there was Gary Hart, and, and when they said to him, okay, here's the quote. And he still said, no, I, I didn't, I don't know what you're talking about. You're just a conspiracy. They go, okay, we got a laptop. And he goes, all right, all right, fine, I remember it. And all of a sudden he started sweating and he got scared because he was in a room with people. See, they, they love it that people are unconscious and aren't aware and can't see. See what they are. Uh, there's one line I like in Avatar where, where you know, they say to him, I see you. No, I see you. I see who you are. I see your essence. Your subconscious mind is so powerful, the smells, the pheromones, everything. The, the brain is tracking and knows. And I see you. And, and Hart tried his thing. I don't know what you're talking about. I never wrote that. And they said, yeah, here's a quote. No, I didn't say that. Okay, we got the video. Because he'd later give a little speech about it to CFR or whatever. The point is, he, he got scared. And he went, yeah, I did say that. But I'm not going to discuss it, all right? I, <sighs> and he was like looking at this crowd. Oh, man, they know. God, God. Again, they get so arrogant thinking we're not understanding them. I mean, we see you. I mean, it's, 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 it's an abomination. It's, a, it's, a, it's not an elephant in the room. It is a giant steaming pile of dead bodies. And the only way to heal this is just admitting how sick we've gotten. By good people being weak and, and going, I'm not going to say it's an inside job. That's rude. You know, you know that, that, that's scary. I, I'm not going there. If they get away with this, they are going to get away with everything. So I'm ready to die. I'm ready to be killed for this information. That's not heroic. As a man in the face of a bunch of murderers, I've got to say, all right, you may stomp me flatter than a pancake. I'm going up against you. Okay? And, 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 and if you would just break the spell and be the same, this evil would disappear. Being a male is not going to tailgating parties and drinking beer and acting tough. I was just watching TV ads out there during the break. And they show you these images and we're supposed to act like a bunch of animals. Being a man is when you see corruption, doing what you can to expose it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the way America's going, checkpoints everywhere, banks stealing you blind, all the corruption, then buy into 9-11 because it's going to be used to take all your freedoms. That's why the foreign bank staged it. Chuck Norris is starting to wake up. And again, he was, nobody was more buying into the official paradigm than somebody like Chuck Norris. But when he keeps seeing the Al-Qaeda leaders funded by the U.S. government, he's starting to get it. I can't wait to get Chuck back on the show. I mean, can you wake up? Because, uh, um, you know, reality's there, even if you say it isn't. All right, I'm going to give each caller about a minute. We got 12 callers. There's no way to get to everybody, but I'll try. Nicholas in Arizona, then Robert, Karen, Bill, others. Go ahead, Nicholas. You're on the air. Hey, I've been a longtime listener, huge fan. I promote your movies everywhere. Um, today is 9-11, and I have a very special message for all your listeners to be hopeful and really go beyond hope and just know that we can have a new investigation uh, and I'm telling you this out of confidence because I have been an activist for about eight years. I worked for lobbying groups and I've done ballot initiative work. We already have the, the, we already have architects and engineers for 9/11 Truth with thousands of members all over international TV speaking to thousands. 
I go out and talk to crowds. I talk to, you know, I hang out with LAPD detectives at different events because they're always there as security and sometimes as, as, as party guests. Uh, and they're like, of course we know it's an inside job. We knew day one. Anybody who lives in the real world knows we're gone. we've already won, sir. There's no doubt. And I have one thing to say. Yeah, go ahead. Which is that I, because of my activism experience and knowing the inside trade of how activism has created little businesses and political action committees have been successful fighting taxes and fighting corruption in government. I've created a website for all your listeners to learn how they can be better activists. And I'm totally on board with the Ron Paul campaign. Well, that's awesome. Give us the do. website, but you're right. We've been taught by the controlled corporate media that we are supposed to be losers and broadcast from a ditch. No, we need to all write books, all have newsletters, all try to make money to build our own media. Think big. Okay, uh, give us the website and I got to go, Nicholas. Activismtruth.com, and this is where all it's Awesome, I got to jump. Learn. Awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead and talk to Robert in Texas. Robert, you're on the air. Go ahead. I'll try to make this as fast as I can. Uh, we went on ahead, and in the spirit of the anniversary of 9-11, the 10-year anniversary, we've been uh, plugging We Are Change on major radio shows. And uh, re our most recent call, we hit the Sean Hannity show. And um, <clears throat> putting that video up right now, if you go to YouTube or Google, just search for Funkmaster 5, spell the 5, F-I-V-E at the end. And uh, we have a Twitter, Tumblr, and uh, YouTube up. So the video is... You know what's right beautiful now. about this, Robert, is that, again, we are change, a group. I put Luke on the air, great activists, thousands of activists out there, hundreds of groups all over the world, making news everywhere, real citizen journalists. It's so beautiful. And again, not because I'm great, because my audience is great, and no army can stop an idea whose time has come. I want to take more calls, but I just want to say this. They've turned 9-11 into a sick police state celebration of fear and control. And I'm going to go back and look up the name. I didn't write it down, and I, I, I forgot it. But they had a 60 Minutes piece that aired on MSNBC Friday night where they admitted, and it showed the manuals, but actual training. I've gotten the manuals. When it shows cops going, I know I will face terrorists, 100% chance they will attack the police department. Thank God the Pentagon is teaching me. And the Pentagon is going around and telling these cops that the gun owners are coming after you, they will kill you. That's illegal to have the Pentagon doing that. And, and, and these cops, so many of them were on steroids. They were so, they looked like they'd put mentally handicapped people on steroids. It was scary. These cops on this show looked like you basically put someone who had serious mental retardation on steroids. They were like, they're going to attack us with the armed guards at the malls and all the schools. I mean, literally. And then it showed the Pentagon going, that's right. They're going to kill you. There's terrorists everywhere. We got to get rid of everybody's rights in America. And 60 Minutes was like, do you feel like it's fear mongering? And they're like, no, the terrorists are everywhere. The colonel said, and I, I meant to write notes, but I was at my parents Friday night and didn't. And I was just like, I was gorging on pizza. I, 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 I just, it, it's so, folks, it's ridiculous. Even if Al Qaeda is real and all of it's real, you got a better chance being killed by a bee. Face the danger. Get over the fear. We're not land of the cowards, home of the slaves. Exercise the f New World Order demons today. Robert in Texas, you're on the air. Welcome. Oh, we already went to Robert. I'm all over the map. Karen in Arizona, come on Hi, down. Alex, I have two quick, one question and one uh, response. Have, uh, have you ever heard of uh, Susan Lindauer? She is one of the uh, what, CIA whistleblowers on the 9-11 truth. Yes, I need to and get her on. And you're right. You know what? Any, anybody who watches demolitions of buildings, I knew that day, that very same day that... This was a brought down of a tower, you know, of the building because, and I knew right away, I told my friends, I said, you know what? I said, that plane didn't bring down those towers. It was blown down. That's what everybody thought that day. And then they're like, we're going to blow up seven. We're going to blow up and blow it up. And we go, you said you blow it up. Shut up, weirdo. You didn't see that. Then we find the videos and they're like, well, just never mind those. First, the BBC and CNN said, oh, that's a fake video. We're like, no, it isn't. It's your anchor. They went, okay, it's ours. We're not talking about it. I mean, we have them. They didn't just come up with an excuse right away. It was like, that isn't real. 
<laughs> God bless you, Karen. You're awesome. Oh, man. Bill in Arkansas, you're on the air. Go ahead. I love that invitation to that doofus cop there. Hey, man. That's a good voice. Listen, I'm not that. joking. Okay, you know I got I mean? frightened I, by this. It, these you. were cops who had, who had uh, what do roid heads call it, uh, Buffalo humps. I mean, big, fat, 10-cycle in, steroid burnouts, crazy-looking women on roids going, terrorists are everywhere. And then they got Pentagon going, that's right. They're going to devil strike you. What do you do? You attack the public. The cops are like, yes, sir, we're going to get them. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, they really are that way, and that's what's so bad about it. Anyway, uh, I was asking you as a Christian. I'm a Christian. and I was trying to figure out, you know, from the Bible, it doesn't it? I mean, don't these buildings have to have God take his hand off of our country to even destroy these buildings? I mean... No, no, that's it. America, eh, providence has always been with us because we weren't perfect, but we were a Christian nation. And yes, the, the, the hedge is gone. The shields are down. Uh, America has now been turned over to evil. And it's just going to get worse from here. You get rid of the Bill of Rights and Constitution. You get rid of the moral code. The, the prosperity has gone. Just like oxygen leaving a room. So all these people that hate, you know, morals and stuff, welcome to the, welcome to what you want. God moves, you've got, you're in trouble if he doesn't protect you. But one more, why was Bush in Sarasota? Uh, I've been down there, lived down there. His dad's got a house down there at Bird Key. Uh, something was just too damn convenient about that. Well, I know that uh, Jeb Bush declared martial law two days before in Florida. Associated Press, they meant to knock out the Capitol with Flight 93, but the... Uh, Air Force didn't follow their orders. The happy hooligans out of Dakota shot down that plane before it could get to the uh, where it could get to its target. That's why they gave me the fake "let's roll" story, knowing you'd buy into it. Uh, who's up next here? Howard. Howard in Connecticut. Go ahead, sir. Hey, Alex. How are you? Doing well. Uh, listen, uh, as far as what's been going on, I just uh, it's, it's nice to, to have uh, spoken with Wayne Costi yesterday. He re he showed. Uh, is the new film from Arctic, uh, Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth. And I saw the whole thing, uh, and it was just a, a great example. Which of is that? Thing. Experts speak? Because I've watched clips. Exactly. Of, I've watched Expert clips of it. It's like top architects in the nation that build some of the biggest buildings going controlled demolition. So professional. We're going to interview some of those folks on InfoWars Nightly News next week. Listen, the psychiatric point of view was awesome. Like, how there's this, like... Um, basic, you know, the, the belief systems. and they have Oh, I don't blame people not wanting to believe it's an inside job. And, because and because like, then you got to face, face how much trouble we're in. But it's better to face it now than keep going down this road, folks. The only salvation is in the truth. We've got to admit it. Just like, uh, was it Thomas Paine or said, I want to know the whole truth and make preparations for it no matter how bad it is. Or was it Patrick Henry? I think it was, I don't, I don't remember exactly, but I mean, exactly. I remember it was saying. Patrick Henry. I pulled the data. Go ahead. Patrick Henry. Uh, but like, like you say all the time, uh, you, you've, you've really woke me up to a lot of stuff. I mean, like Gary Webb and Paul Free, DC Madam, you know, all of this uh, crazy. Uh, Brother, I told know. her they were going to kill her and they did. All right, we're out of time. We're out of time. Tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, 12 Eastern, live on the radio and TV. And tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, InfoWars Nightly News, InfoWars.com. God bless you all.